Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we've got the ultimate project management personal assistant. Bye bye ClickUp. See you later Jara. Now let's get started and have a look. So here's the workflow here. On this one we're running all through Open Web UI. So everything can be self-hosted, end to end. If you look at the software stack that I use, then you even have integrated search also built in as well. At the moment, for the demo, we're going to be using XAI's Grok, but you can also use one of the self-hosted models if you want to. So, Open Web UI is a self-hosted interface to connect to Olama, but also through the functions and the pipe function, you can connect it straight into an AN. So you can have, so you can control an N8M workflow via OpenWebUI. What we've got here, because this interface is just like having a ChatGPT, you've got what it'll do is when you send your first few messages, this bit of the workflow here will use a AI model, which I'm using a self-hosted Olama model. So then create the name to name it by so then you can pick that chat and go back to it later and then the rest of the tools go through this agent just here we've got our MCP base row server for the project management assistant so here's a project management assistant the project management database here that we've seen before We've got the tasks, clients, team, but this time all running through Open Web UI. So you're not relying on any third party services, you can host everything yourself. And I'll also show you a screenshot where you can run it on your phone just like it's just like you've got ChatGPT up there. And I'll put the screenshot in just here. How you do that is you you have it hosted on a, on a web server and what you then do is you then use a use a browser to create a web app so then that way you've got an icon to click on and go straight into it and then you can use it as if you're using chat GPT show me all the team members There you go, see, it's showing, showing all the team members now. And it has voice activation as well. Show me all, show me all of the clients in the client database. And this works equally well with your phone as well. There we go, there's all the clients in the client database. Now show me all of the current projects in the projects database. There we go, there's one of the projects. So what's this setup good, good for? Well this sort of setup for a chatbot is very useful for an internal company chatbot. So if you've got staff in the office and you need them to access different AI tools, you can use this sort of setup here so that they can have an internal 
a system. You can have RAG connected to it. You can have it connected to the file system. So then that way it can it can go through doc documents and get to the information quickly for your internal employees. Obviously in this example we've got the project management database, emails, calendar, all the usual stuff. But if you were building this out for a company, you may not necessarily have those bits on there. You may have it connected to the documents and then that way the staff could go and grab information from the document and then write an email and send it off. So it would be a personal assistant for all your staff inside the company. And you'd usually customize this to fit the job role of each individual staff because not all of the staff are going to want, for example, the calendar agent or the email agent or maybe even the research agent. But you can completely customize this so when the employee is sitting at their computer, they can bring this up and just work with all the company information. You could even have different ones for different departments. So you can have one for the IT team and that would be able to access all of the internal IT documentation, one for HR, and the HR one could even access CVs that are in the CV library and all of the compliance that HR has to cover. The accounts department, that one could actually be linked all the way to the the accounts department can have their one linked to an accounts database so I can access all of, all of their accounts and expenses. Very, very flexible. And you can have these tools connected to multiple different types of agents. So let's, if I go into, if I go into here, some of those same tools are also connected to the Telegram triggered project management assistant. We're using the same MCP database. So if you've got staff members that work in the office and also work out on the road, and they like to work with Telegram when they're out on the road, you can have the same agent, the same, all of the same sub agents connected to two different bots. So when they're in the office, they can use Open Web UI, when they're on the desktop, and when they're out and about, they can use the Telegram. And then you have access to the best of both worlds. Hope this gives you an idea of how these can be used in the real world. One thing I like to put on there is a note section as well. Because then I can quickly and easily just throw notes on there, go through my notes, and it keeps me organized throughout the day. Now, quick reminder, folks don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your engagement might help someone, someone automate their day, saving time, and get more done. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, then there's links in the description. So, you can do a lot more with a lot more with a project management assistant. So, having the AI is great because you can organise it in date order. It can go through it, and it can go through quite a large amount of information. system
Right, so let's go. Let's go through the MCP server. I've seen it before on on previous videos, but I'll show it again. So there's the base row MCP server there. So what we've got is this is an example of the update node for the notes, and as you can see in one of the sections for the status you've got a list of the different statuses that you can put in and as a default if none is specified just put as non started so this is a comprehensive database that base row has as a template what I've added in here is content database and the notes database is very very straightforward to start up a new table so there's the team contacts clients tasks and projects thank you for watching like share and subscribe next one that's going to be coming up will be a expenses assistant to help keep your business organized with its expenses and its taxes. If you'd like to donate to the channel, then there's links in the description. There's also, there's also links to where you can buy the workflows that I've demonstrated on my channel. And if you'd like to reach out for me to work with you then contact me through the website or the email automate at the automated ai.com and until next time keep automating